How to create the new Material U navigation bar in Flutter that was introduced with Android 12 to navigate between pages in your Flutter app. In general, Material U offers a lot of modern innovative changes to the existing Material design. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started with our scaffold bottom navigation bar property and here we create our new navigation bar widget. Here inside the navigation bar items are called destinations and you need to create then a navigation destination with an icon and a label. If you now hot reload, you will get first of all an error because you need to put here at least two navigation destinations inside. So let's also add here some more and every time I put a different icon and a different label inside. And with this, we have here these four items inside of our navigation bar. And next, we also want to customize our navigation bar. Therefore, you can simply wrap around your navigation bar, the navigation bar theme widget. And here inside of the theme data, you can then basically define the indicator color. And with this, we have here a different background color for our selected item that we have defined with this color. Next, you can customize the textile, therefore you have here this label textile property and here inside you put then basically your textile inside. As a result, the text under our items is now bigger. Within your navigation bar, you can also set the height of your navigation bar and with this I will shrink right now here a bit the navigation bar height. And secondly, you can also change the background color of your navigation bar. So I put it here to this reddish color and with this we have a different color. Right now, if I click on another navigation bar item, then it is not working and this is what we want to change. Therefore, you can basically supply here the selected index and if I set it, for example, to one, then this item is here selected. If you set it to two, then the spaces is selected and if I set it to zero, then the first item is selected. Let's also make it more dynamic by creating an index field inside of our state. And secondly, within our navigation bar, we also implement the on destination selected property. With this, we get every time the index if we change here our navigation bar item and we simply want to store then this index inside of our state. Also make sure that you have here the set state wrapped around so that our UI gets updated. Therefore, you also need to have here a stateful widget instead of a stateless widget. All right, now we are storing the index of our navigation bar item inside of our state. And secondly, we also want to make use of this index. Therefore, I create here a new property screens and here inside we put simply all the different pages inside for each of our navigation bar items. So here we have four navigation bar items, therefore I also put here four screens inside. And now we can display these screens inside of our scaffold body property. Therefore I access here the screens property and with the help of the index we get then the right screen. Let's also try it out. If I change here between the tabs, you see that the screen here at the top is always changing. And this is basically because we have implemented the screens within our body property. And of course, you can also exchange here your screens with real screens. So I have created here different pages that I have also created inside of my folder structure. And here we have then every time a page with a scaffold. And then you can basically put here the content inside that should be displayed instead. Make sure to click on hot restart. And with this, we have here different pages for each of our tabs. Next, you can define for your selected item every time a different icon than the unselected state. Therefore, let's go to our navigation bar destinations and inside of one navigation destination, you can define then the selected icon. And with this, if our item is now selected, we have here a different icon instead. And if it is not selected, then we display the normal icon that we have defined with this one. Let's also create the selected item for each of our other navigation destination items. And with this, you have here this awesome looking navigation bar where we have every time a different selected icon. Within your navigation bar, you also have the label behavior property where you can, for example, hide all of your labels. And with this, we have no text under our icons or you can also change it to only show selected. And with this, only the selected item has here a label. And finally, within your navigation bar, you can also define the animation duration, which I set here right now to three seconds. 
As a result, if I change the navigation bar item, you see that this animation is much slower. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this example application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.